Yes, so I meant to start this vlog like two hours ago, but I had to run some errands. So I'm just starting it now, um, which is a, a thrifting vlog. It was supposed to be kind of like, I don't know, spend the day with me, but the day is half over, it's 3 p.m. So there's not much of the day left to spend. Right now I'm going to go to Island Vintage Coffee um, to grab some coffee because as much as I love Starbucks, I need to venture out if I'm like an actual coffee drinker, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna try this place, I've never been there before. They also have acai bowls, which I'm craving so badly right now because I haven't eaten. Well, actually no, I have, I did eat. I had just like a banana, some yogurt, and like a small little bag of um, popcorners, sea salt chips. That's like all I've had all day. So I'm pretty hungry, um, and it's past the afternoon slump so i'm gonna grab some coffee and grab some food just kind of sit and read i'm so upset i forgot my bible at home which i was planning to read and just you know sit there and study but i have another book with me that i can do and i have my faith journal which i can do so that's always great that's why you always carry more than one book with you <laughs> whenever you leave the house <laughs> Back in the car, made it. I got lost for a second. I really thought that <laughs> I was not gonna be able to find where I parked because all Moana is just a mess. The store exits and the up and down stairs and everything is so confusing. I went through a different exit thinking it was the same exit because it looked so similar. Come to find out it was a different exit. It is currently going to five. It's 4.46. I just spent a little bit of time in the small cafe and I didn't go to where I wanted to go to originally because I just couldn't find it. As I said, Ala Moana is just a mess. I could not find um, the shop I was looking for. I even forgot the name. It was Island Vintage Coffee or something like that. And I ended up at Sunrise Shack, which I mean they had what I was planning to get anyways. Uh, just like a little acai bowl and um, some coffee. I already finished. It's all iced now. Mission accomplished. Um, I still want to check out that other place later on um, when I have time. If I can get this pop socket on, that would be great. But as for right now, uh, the thrift store is closing at 6 and it's a couple minutes away, so I have like an hour to spend there, which isn't a lot, but at least it's something. Okay, cool. Uh, now, which way am I supposed to back out? Oh, okay. Alright, so I'll back out this way. I did this last time. I backed out the wrong way <laughs> and the GPS had to recalibrate, which was a little embarrassing, but you know what? That's okay. A few moments later. Um, it's super sunny, so the angle that I normally film at, I can't, but I think I made it. Um, I've never been to this Goodwill before. I hope it's an actual thrift store. I get to browse for like an hour and then head home, I guess. Actually, no, head to Ross because I want to get a picture. Um, for my room to replace where that clock is because that clock is so old it doesn't even work it's actually broken um i just didn't have anything better to decorate my room with so let's go see what's in goodwill
interesting. Um, <laughs> I found some really cute stuff. Let me go ahead and show you a little haul. Uh, I was so surprised. I saw freaking like Gap and Zara in here, and of course some Shein stuff, but like Gap. <laughs> <laughs> and I found some Levi's too, although they weren't in my size and they weren't like the right fit. I got this super cute summer shirt, just this one. Definitely gonna have to wear a tank top because it's one of those shirts where it has like that weird triangle thing like in the middle by your bosom area, which I don't like. I don't know who came up with that style, but like... No ma'am! They need to be fired. Just kidding, not really. And then, I'm so excited for this. I mean, I don't really need this, especially here in Hawaii, but like, this vest was too good to leave. It's just plain beige, it's comfy. I can actually wear it at night, like if I ever go to the movies or something. Um, and I can just chill out in this. And it's from Gap. Like, hello, I'm actually gonna go online and see later how much this costs, because that's insane. I got this for like seven bucks. I love thrifting. I got this top just because um, it's a cute flowy top and I don't really have much to just kind of wear like in the summertime. I have a lot of winter clothes like hoodies and stuff. Wow, where is the top? But I don't have much like outwear clothes, if that makes sense. But I found this, this is also really cute. Kind of can't really see, oh, it's like a little um, bow at the bottom. Just like a really loose fitting shirt if I ever want to dress up and last but not least my favorite find which I was looking for this for so long just a light red cardigan like this isn't a heavy cardigan because you know it's gonna be hot and it's light like it's not too light to the point where it's like see-through or something but it's also not super heavy to the point where it's gonna be like suffocating if I wear this out <sighs> it's so nice oh my gosh that was it for my thrift haul find the people there were so nice, the workers. I felt bad for this one lady though. She seemed really just fed up with today. Uh, especially because there was a man in the store who was trying to steal, I guess, again. He's stealing! He's stealing! He's stealing! <laughs> this wasn't his first offense. Um, and they called the cops and everything. That's why I was kind of shook when I first came to the car. <laughs> So I was like, um, I don't know what's going on, but like, I don't want to be a part of this. I really wasn't in there that long either because I came pretty late. They just closed. It's actually what? Literally 6.04. And I came at 5, but I started at like 5, 5.10, 5.15 because I had to use the bathroom and I had to wait in line and I had to give them my phone to get the key to the restroom, which was kind of crazy. They're like, oh, do you have something valuable? with you to you know give us so that way you don't take the key and i didn't want to give them my camera so i gave them my phone which, uh, that doesn't really make sense but for some reason it made sense in my head because the phone's replaceable but like a camera i don't know about that and there's also find my phone on the iphone and a bunch of other tools that you could use i guess to just kind of um transfer all your stuff onto a new one like iCloud and everything but like a camera doesn't have that so I gave them my phone and I went to use the restroom and I came back I mean it was fine I have my phone but still that was like a little a little off-putting I'm gonna head out I'm gonna head to Ross hopefully they have some really nice pictures and stuff dude what that was actually insane I thought I was trapped in that parking lot because I just came down from the upper parking lot and I saw the gate closed and I was like um there was a space where they were letting people out, which thank god, because I actually would have been trapped in there. I didn't know that they closed it as soon as they closed the store, but good to know, learning process. I'm here at Ross. I'm gonna go look around a bit, see if I can find a picture for my room um, to replace the clock that is in there, the broken clock that literally hasn't worked for like the past seven years. So. Alright, so back in the car, I just finished at Ross and I got my paintings i will see you when i am back in my room so i can put all this stuff up I can get this tripod to open up <laughs> okay so finally back home i'm going to show you guys what i got from ross to replace the clock that's on the wall that i will show you in just a second i got 
this. And then I also got this nightstand. I'm just calling to say I. with everything in the room just yet because it is a white nightstand um but the rest of my furniture is kind of like very brown like this chair here i need to also replace because that chair is old probably like 10 years old and this bed frame here doesn't match that either this bed frame is also like almost my age mate but yeah so that is my room right now um it's under construction under heavy construction but i'm really tired i'm wishing i got taco bell actually is it still open because <laughs> i'm so tired right now like i don't have energy wow i don't have like any energy to cook or make food stop they're open oh my gosh when do they close Okay, so as you can see, I am still home. Um, I decided to opt out of going to Taco Bell because there's food here that I made that I completely forgot about. How the tables have turned, there's food at home. I don't need to go out and buy food as much as I want to just because it's easy. I'm not going to because discipline. I'm practicing discipline and denying myself things that are completely unnecessary. So this is one of those things, unfortunately. So I just figured since I'm staying home, I'm just going to put this on one of these relaxing little masks. They're always crooked, these are never straight. I haven't tried this mask out before, I really hope it's good. I rated it on the app that I was talking about earlier, that like YUKA, like Yuka app. And it said this um, product is pretty good. This is the Balance Me Glow Aha Mask. I am so don't mind my facial expressions i can't really move my face anymore because these things are sliding down i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here just because this thing keeps sliding because i keep talking